Welcome to Ortho Eval Pal, where we help you build confidence in your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Hi, my name is Paul, and this is Cameron. Cameron is 16 years old and um, sustained her first right uh, shoulder dislocation in December and then again in February. And since then, she has been in a sling for approximately one month, uh, basically with her arm up against her uh, belly. Um, so she's here to see us today because of this continued shoulder discomfort and, and obvious inability to lift her arm, which we're going to demonstrate in just a little bit. Um, many, many things could be going on here, so we're going to kind of piece this together. Um, so first thing I want to do is just kind of clear the cervical spine. So I'm going to ask her to look all the way to the right toward me and all the way toward the left. Any pain with that? When you look to the left, it kind of hurts in the neck, in the front of the neck here, okay? I'd like you to look up toward the ceiling and look down toward your chest. Good. Any pain with that? No. Okay. So that's looking good. Um, the next thing I want to do is a cervical spine compression test. So I'm going to have her look straight ahead. I'm going to put a little pressure down here. And where does that hurt? Right here. Okay. So a little bit of cervical spine pain going on. Um, I did a femoral encroachment sign a while ago or Sperling's test. Any pain with that? No. Okay, if we go over to this side. Yeah. So some pain in through here? Yeah. Okay, so more of a stretching type of discomfort mm -hmm. in this area. Okay, next thing I'd like to do is check your reflexes. So I'm going to start over here, and we're gonna go with, let me relax that arm. C7, we got a good reflex there. C5, C6, all look good. This side we're going to be careful with because she doesn't like to move that arm too well. So we're going to put the hand here and we're going to try to get a C7. We get a nice C7. I see it right here. C5. Relax your arm. Put your hand right on your lap. Okay, and that's a little bit weak, but let's put her in this position. She'll relax better. So we have some a slight decrease in C5 reflex on that side. C6 is good. Okay, so a little decrease C5 right there. I checked her sensation a while ago and she had some decreased sensation in the um, T1 area and also in the um, C6 region, C5 region. So C5, C6 is somewhat questionable here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at your active range of motion. So I'd like you to lift both arms and if the left hand goes all the way, that's fine. Look at how far she goes here. Okay, now I'm going to have you let your arm down and have you swing over that way. And we're going to take, we're going to do the same motion, but we're going to videotape you from the side. So I want you to take a look at the scapula humeral complex here. So go ahead and try to lift. Notice the significant winging of our scapula here. We are perfect on the left side. And let's take a look at this from the back. Okay, so we'll do it one more time. So notice what's happening here is she's totally losing stability of her scapula. Um, she looks like she has a long thoracic nerve palsy, which which shuts down or, or um, which shuts down the serratus anterior. Go ahead and relax your arms. Okay, let's try to lift out to the side now. This is quite uncomfortable for her, and the reason it's so difficult to move the glenohumeral joint is because now it's in a, a very awkward position. The glenoid is supposed to be here, but is now rotated down and in. So we're gonna let you rest your arms now. Okay, good. Um, so I'm going to check your external rotation. I want you to hold right here. Don't let me push it in. She gives me, you know, some fairly decent resistance, but you can see the scapula wants to pop out. Um, I want you to hold the biceps there. Don't let me pull down. Hold tight. Hold tight, 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 tight. Oh, that's better than a while ago. A while ago she exhibited some weakness there. Um, but now what I'd like to do is take a look at her shoulders while she tries to do a shrug. So let's have you try to lift the shoulders just like this. And let's get that one up as high as you can go. Good. And how about this one? How high can you get it? So she can't even shrug this shoulder here. So um, go ahead and relax. The other thing we've noticed is she has a significant amount of spasm in the upper trapezius and the levator scapulae region. And so I'm wondering if maybe she has a spinal accessory nerve palsy because of her inability to uh, shrug the shoulder. So this is a very, very interesting presentation. Obviously, we have some neurologic dysfunction. She's had an x-ray to find that that's negative. Um, she's recently had an MRI, but I think more importantly, she's going to need uh, an EMG study. Go 
identify if she has a long thoracic nerve palsy or a spinal accessory nerve palsy, um, and maybe even assess if she has something going on at the cervical spine. Um, uh, and, and so our goal in therapy is going to be to stabilize the scapula as she does activity. Um, and we can do that by trying to stimulate the uh, rhomboids and serratus anterior with some neuromuscular stimulation. Even taping techniques to hold this down uh, can be helpful. An S3 shirt, which is a, uh, a neoprene shirt that gives a lot of compression here and can help hold the scapula in place. And then we would start to work on shoulder range of motion and uh, we'll have you come around, Amanda. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll work on some shoulder range of motion and uh, avoid extremes of external rotation since she does sublux anteriorly. As you can see right there, it just popped and then it kind of falls back into place. Uh, I tested her posteriorly and the posterior capsule was nice and tight and inferiorly she didn't seem to be very unstable, but she certainly is unstable anteriorly. So once this gets under control, uh, she may require uh, you know, anterior shoulder stability um, surgery. So, thank you. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and for more awesome content, go to orthoevalpal.com. Can't wait to see you there.